Almost two dozen people must find another place to sleep tonight after flames tore through their apartment building in West Knox County. More than 40 firefighters worked this scene that took out an entire building at Walker Springs Apartments. Thankfully, fire crews say no one was hurt tonight. We check in once again with 10 News reporter Mary Klingler joining us live from the scene where investigators are still working to find a cause. Mary. John, that's right. Investigators and fire crews are still on the scene seven hours later. Now this building right here behind me, a total loss had eight units inside and the one next to it. It was severely damaged from the smoke that came off of the fire. Now, one person I talked to earlier out here on the scene says this is not the first time she came home to a burning building. If I didn't have bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. For Elena Davenport, these flames were a familiar sight. I've learned to kind of let go of things a little better since the first time it happened. Tuesday's fire is the second time one of her apartments caught fire. The first time was in 2019. She lost everything inside her country club apartment. Investigators ruled that fire arson. It was very hard to rebuild from losing them four years ago, everything. And so uh, just going through that fear of how I felt again is, is pretty terrifying. She says two pets were inside her apartment, her dog Nova and her cat. Ace, who has survived his second fire now. He was the only thing that survived out of my fire the first time, so it's pretty miraculous again. Ace, Nova, and several other pets who lived in the burning buildings survived, partly thanks to Davenport's boyfriend. I heard a knock at the door, uh, banging on my door. I walk outside and smoke's billowing out of that top apartment there. That's when Cordell Young says he sprung into action. Smoke is pouring out. We're kind of opening doors, banging on doors, seeing if anybody's home, uh, trying to get everybody out. He says he rescued five pets from the burning building, and we got to watch them reunite with their owners. It's something that you will live in fear of again forever, like I did, and then it may or may not happen again. <laughs> Now, Cordell does not live in the apartment that was impacted by the fire, and Atlanta says that gives her a place to stay for the night, so she's feeling thankful for that. But for many others, they are just trying to figure out how they're going to start rebuilding their lives. John, Robin. We're just glad they're safe tonight. Mary Klingler live for us this evening in West Knox County.